What is up YouTube, Coin Whisperer here, your source for crypto news, views, and reviews. And in this one, we're going to be talking about the differences between Lisk and Ethereum and which one is the better decentralized application platform. Now let's just get right into it. So let's talk about a few distinguishing features between Lisk and Ethereum. So the first distinguishing feature is the uh, consensus mechanism Lisk and Ethereum use. So Lisk uses a delegated proof of stake mechanism which basically means that anybody who holds a list coin gets to vote for delegates. And in this case, there's 101 delegates who are the ones who secure the list network and are the ones who decide when there should or should not be changes to the core code of LISC. So the advantage of using a delegated proof of stake mechanism is compared to the normal proof of stake consensus mechanism is Say that Lisk wants to make a change to one of their network parameters, instead of having to go through the trouble of asking everybody who owns the Lisk coin to vote on this, they just have to pull the delegates and can really get things done a lot faster that way. So Ethereum's consensus mechanism is proof of work, and they're currently in the process of transitioning over to proof of stake, which is probably going to take a few years. But proof of work is the same consensus mechanism that Bitcoin uses, which is using miners who have expensive uh, mining rigs to secure the network and the incentive of being a miner is you get paid in that coin when you uh, mine a block. So one of the key differences between Lisk and Ethereum is Lisk uses, utilizes side chains while Ethereum has one main blockchain that all the decentralized apps on the platform run off of. So if you don't know what side chains are, basically in Lisk's case, uh, there's one streamlined main chain that has a one streamlined main blockchain that's Lisk's blockchain and all the decentralized apps that are built on Lisk's platform get their own blockchain that stems off from that uh, from the main Lisk blockchain. This is useful because anybody building a decentralized app on Lisk's platform gets to choose all their network parameters they want like block time and stuff like that and they also get to choose which uh, consensus mechanism they want to run. Another big benefit of using sidechains is that when there's a problem with one of the sidechains, it doesn't affect the network as a whole, which is not necessarily true with Ethereum since they run off of one main blockchain. So an example of this is back in June when the ICO mania was happening. There's a lot of traffic on the Ethereum network and that was slowing down uh, confirmation times for all Ethereum transactions and there was a backlog of transactions. So while sidechains seem to be far superior to the approach that Ethereum uses with just using one main blockchain, there are a few uh, drawbacks because first off, sidechains have never been fully implemented, so nobody really knows how they're going to work out. And second, there's some security issues with using sidechains that uh, Ethereum doesn't have to run into since they only use one main blockchain. Now let's get into the coding language that Ethereum Lisk and Ethereum use to build their decentralized apps. So everything in Lisk is built with JavaScript, which is the most well-known uh, programming language in the world. And it's what a vast majority of the websites on the internet are coded in. So the ability for programmers to use JavaScript to build their decentralized applications on the Lisk network is one of their main claims to fame. And this is because, like I said, that it's one of the main languages used and there's millions of programmers in the world that are well versed in JavaScript and would be able to get onto the Lisk platform right away and start building decentralized applications. Ethereum, on the other hand, uses a coding or a programming language that they developed called Solidity. The advantage of Solidity over JavaScript is that a lot of people think JavaScript is too slow of a programming language to be used with uh, blockchain technology, and it's it has inherent flaws. But the problem with Solidity is there are only a handful of people in the world who know how to program in Solidity. So finding a Solidity programmer is going to be difficult for people trying to build uh, decentralized apps on Ethereum's blockchain. And it will also be much more expensive to find a Solidity developer than it is a JavaScript developer. And because of this, Ethereum is meant for larger companies. So in order to build a decentralized app on the Ethereum blockchain, it's going to be a lot more expensive than Lisk will be. This is just mainly because of the cost of hiring Solidity developers. On the other hand, Lisk is meant for the masses, and this is something that uh, Lisk CEO Max Cordek really tries to emphasize. 
Lisk's main goal is to make it easy for anybody to build a decentralized application using blockchain technology. Not only does utilizing JavaScript as the programming language of the Lisk platform make it for the masses, but also the fact that they are going to have repositories of DAP frameworks, which basically means that, say you see a sidechain and you like the network parameters that they have, that you'll just be able to basically copy and paste their parameters and implement it into your own blockchain for your own decentralized app. And that really reduces a lot of the barriers there are to entering the blockchain space because someone that's not super well versed in blockchain technology is still able to build a decentralized app on the Lisk platform. Ethereum also utilizes uh, DAP frameworks for developers, but the DAP frameworks that Ethereum has are more just to make it easier for the developers to uh, develop the decentralized apps, but Lisk frameworks make it so you can basically just copy and paste everything you need to build a blockchain and build your own decentralized app that way. But in Ethereum's case, the, dis the frameworks are just more tools for the developers to use. So now that we've talked about the distinguishing features between the two platforms, let's talk about which one is the better investment now. So when asking the question, what is the better investment, Lisk or Ethereum, there are a lot of things you have to consider. So the first thing to consider is Ethereum has a huge head start on Lisk since they've already been letting companies develop on their platform and have their ICOs for the past couple of years. And Lisk is still in the process of releasing their SDK, which the first version comes out uh, hopefully in December of 2017. And Lisk won't fully allow uh, people to come in and develop on their platform till around August slash September of 2018. So in that respect, Ethereum has a head start on Lisk of a few years, but Ethereum itself is still not fully proven since right now it's basically just serving as a large piggy bank for people to ICO their tokens on because none of the companies that have developed on Ethereum's blockchain or Ethereum's platform, sorry, have actually released any substantial products. They're all still in the prototyping slash development phase. So we don't really know what's going to happen to Ethereum once companies are actually releasing products and are demanding more from Ethereum's blockchain. And something that's somewhat alarming for Ethereum is that they are having their, they're having a lot of scalability issues now and problems with the network. And they are implementing solutions to these problems, but but the solutions aren't going to be fully implemented for probably at least a year or two. Some of the main problems Ethereum has come stem from their proof of work algorithm and their use of one main blockchain. And that is why Lisp was developed with the thought of using delegated proof of stake and side chains to really streamline the whole process and hopefully avoid a lot of scalability issues that Ethereum is experiencing now. With that being said, Ethereum is more of a long term hold and it is a relatively more safe than Lisk in the fact that it's more proven and it is the second biggest cryptocurrency. So with that being said, you don't really have to worry about Ethereum's price just falling off the face of the earth unless there's some sort of catastrophic event with, that happens to Ethereum or just that just happens to the whole cryptocurrency space as a whole, like something like Bitcoin being outlawed in America or something like that. While Ethereum is relatively safer than Lisk as an investment, it doesn't have that potential to really go up like 20 or 30 times like Lisk does, since right now Ethereum has a market cap of about $45 billion. So to see a price increase of 20 times, that would give Ethereum a market cap of about $900 billion, which is putting it right on par with Apple. And it's just unrealistic at this point of time to really be hoping for that kind of gain in price. Now let's talk about if Lisk is a good investment. So while Lisk does have the potential to go up 30 times or even 50 times in price, it's still a pretty risky investment to be making at this time. Nobody really knows how sidechains and JavaScript will work out for Lisk in the development of decentralized applications. And because of that, 2018 is really Lisk's proving year to prove if it's 
an actual competitor to Ethereum. And while I'm calling it Lisk a competitor to Ethereum, that doesn't mean that they can't both exist together. Like I said, Ethereum is more focused on getting bigger companies involved with blockchain technology and Lisk is more focusing on the everyday person or smaller companies and really making it easier for those type of people. So because of this, Ethereum and Lisk can both exist almost symbiotically and together can provide everybody access to blockchain technology. So finally, what is the better investment, Lisk or Ethereum? Well, that all just depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for something to invest in that just will steadily increase in value and you're relative, you're pretty safe and you don't have to worry about losing all your money in the project, uh, you should probably be looking to invest into Ethereum. Because like I said, Ethereum is the more proven platform and is currently the second biggest cryptocurrency in terms of market cap. However, if you're looking for more of a risky investment that has potential to make huge returns for you, you should probably look at Lisk. If Lisk can prove in 2018 that it is a legitimate competitor to Ethereum, it has the potential to skyrocket in price in the coming year. So with all that being said, I personally think both Ethereum and Lisk are great investments to be making right now. And which one you should be investing in really just depends on how much risk you're willing to take. And remember guys, this is not financial advice. This is just my personal opinion. And that is going to conclude this video, guys. So if you liked the video, please like the video and subscribe to this channel for more cryptocurrency and blockchain related content like this. And if you have any questions or you want to have a little discussion or debate, just leave your ideas in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching the video and supporting the channel. Coin Whisperer out. Peace.